Hey guys, it's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a 2011 Toyota Camry and we're going to replace the serpentine belts. This is a pretty difficult process and I'm going to take you through it step by step. If you like what you see today, hit like, hit subscribe and share with your friends. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is lift the car with the jack. Once the jack is in place, you can put jack stands underneath the frame as seen here. The jack stands should be placed to where they raise the wheels two inches above the ground. Next, we want to chalk the rear tires. This will ensure the car does not roll off the jack stands and squish us. Now we can disconnect the battery. Using a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket, disconnect the negative battery terminal and set it aside. Now we'll grab our impact wrench, our four inch extension, and our 21 millimeter socket. Now we can remove the lug nuts off the wheel. Push in with your foot on the bottom of the wheel to keep it straight so it's easier to get the lug nuts off. Now lift up on the wheel and roll it away. Now let's remove these bolts from the wheel well guards. Use a quarter inch ratchet, a two inch extension, and a 10 millimeter socket. Now we can get a good look at the cracks in the belt. Looking down from the top of the engine, we can see the two belt tensioners we'll need to pull on to remove the belts from the pulleys. And this is where the fun begins. Using a 14 millimeter wrench, put the closed end on the pulley tensioner from underneath the wheel well. Looking at it from the wheel well, it should look like this. Grab another wrench and use the closed end to pull on the wrench that's mounted to the tensioner pulley. This trick gives you more leverage and allows you to keep your hands out of the way so you can remove the belt. Here's a closer look so you can see how this works. Now that we know how that works, we can use it to remove the belt. Take your time finagling the belt out. It'll be a lot easier if you're not recording video. Now, from the top of the engine, using the inside tensioner pulley, using the same 14 millimeter wrench, we can press down and remove the belt. Examining the belt, it's a good thing we replaced it. There's plenty of cracks. Now we're ready to install the new belt. You gotta start with the inner belt. Slide that all the way down in and get it settled. Let it rest on that top pulley. From the wheel well, wrap the belt around all of its pulleys. Since the belt is new, it will take some time to get it formed. Working from the top of the engine, pull the slack out of the belt. While doing this, make sure the belt stays on its pulleys. Use the 14 millimeter wrench to pull on the tensioner pulley as you maneuver the belt onto the top pulley. This will take some time as it's a very tight space to work in. You may need to use two wrenches here connected together to get more leverage. Here I had to readjust the wrench to get more leverage.
Now we can install the outer belt from the top of the engine, work the belt down into the cavity and let it rest there. Head underneath the wheel well and install the belt around the pulleys. The goal here is to get it placed as close as possible so that when you pull the tensioner pulley, you can just place the belt on the last pulley. Use the 14 millimeter wrench and another wrench connected to it to pull the tensioner pulley for more leverage. Pull back as far as you can on the tensioner pulley and then maneuver the belt around the last pulley. Slowly release the tensioner pulley. Once you are done, double check to make sure the belts are on all the correct pulleys and that they're settled into the teeth on the pulleys. From the top of the engine looking down, this is what you should see. Now we can reinstall the wheel well guards. There's one wheel well guard bolt on the bottom you won't want to miss. Now we can reconnect the battery using a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. Once the battery is reconnected, we can start up the engine and watch those belts spin. Line up the lugs on the rotor to make it easy to reinstall the wheel. You can place your foot underneath the tire to lift it up a little bit to get it onto the lugs. We'll use a torque wrench, a 4 inch extension, and a 21 millimeter socket to torque down the wheel. Using the jack, lower the car just a little bit to place the wheel on the ground. Using the torque wrench, torque the lug nuts down to 76 foot-pounds and go in a star pattern. This will make sure everything stays really tight. Once you're done, lower the vehicle the rest of the way and remove the jack. Now take her for a spin. Well, that project wasn't too hard now, was it? If you like what you saw today, hit like, hit subscribe, and don't forget to stay for a little bit of the bloopers. Oh, and share with your friends. They'd like to see what we got. Check out these videos in the playlist, and we'll see you next time. If you like what you see today, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll if you like. Oh, and don't forget the bloopers.